All right, so we're on problem number four now. Getting more difficult. I'm kind of switching up the methods, by the way. And what am I seeing? I'm seeing a function. It's a rational function. They want a power series for it centered at zero. Let's write down what I'm seeing over here. I'm seeing x squared minus 5x and then minus 6. And this is going to be centered at a equals zero. All right, and there's a variety of ways of doing it, but I'm kind of mixing up the techniques. And what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to, I'm going to use partial fractions. And let's see what I get. 1, you get x squared minus 5x uh, minus 6. Let me keep moving along. I'm going to write this as, let's see, i got to factor the bottom, right? It's a linear factors if I can. Looks like 6 and 1. Looks like minus 6 plus 1. I'm going to split into two fractions with linear uh, uh, denominators. So it's going to be a, a over x plus 1. And then I can put down plus b over x minus 6. I can multiply both sides with the LCD. You get 1 equals a x minus 6 plus b x plus 1. I'm going to pick an easy value for x. I forgot what a and b is. I'm going to pick minus 1. On the left side, you get 1. On the right side, you get minus 7a. So what does that tell me? It tells me a is minus 1 7. Whoops, I wrote a wrong number down there, didn't I? Let me get my eraser out. All right, let's take another easy number. I'm going to say 6. And what does that give you? Well, the left side's always 1. Oh, by the way, make sure you understand what I'm doing. doing it over here. And if I chose 6, I get 7b. Now, what does that tell me? It tells me b is 1 7. So let me do this again. I'm going to write f of x down. It's really 1 over x squared minus 5x minus 6. That's really the same thing as saying... Let's take a look at Be careful, too. It's going to be what? It's going to be a, which is minus 1 7, over x plus 1. And then it's going to be, let's see, b. What's b going to be? 1 7 over x minus 6. All right? So what I'm going to do now is I'm, going to, I'm actually going to factor out minus 1 7. So if I do, they get minus 1 7. I'm going to put the first term down. That's going to be 1. I can write the bottom a little differently because it's uh, x plus 1, but same thing as 1 plus x. And if I factor out a minus 1 7 there, I would get minus 1 over x minus 6. All right? I'm kind of looking at that. My, the, the first one looks very recognizable to me. It's the second one that's not so recognizable to me. So I'm going to continue to rewrite it. It's going to be minus 1 7. This is going to be 1. I'm going to write it down as 1 minus a minus x. Over here, I'm going to write this as plus 1 over 6 minus x. Don't panic yet. First one's recognizable. Minus 1 7. This is going to be 1, 1 minus a minus x. I'm going to factor a 6 out from the bottom. That's going to be 1 sixth. This will be 1. This is going to be 1 minus x over 6. I think I'm ready to, ready to, to uh, write down the, what I believe is the series for this. So minus 1 seventh. And then what do you get there? We're doing one thing at a time, by the way. I want to do this one first. I'll write it down for you. And that's going to be, you know, 1, let's see, minus x plus x squared minus x cubed plus x4. And I think you get an idea, yada, yada, yada. The other one, a little more complicated, isn't it? Let me write it down for you. It's going to be 1 sixth. That's going to be 1 plus x over 6 plus x squared over 6 squared plus x cubed over 6 cubed plus yada, yada, yada. And yeah, it's, it looked complicated. I'm going to continue to write it down. And you get minus 1 7th. 
And let's be careful. Right? Let me write this over here. 1 minus x plus x squared minus x cubed plus x4, yada, yada, yada. Not that bad, right? Let's put the bottom down. What's going to be? I'm going to write down as 1 sixth, and then it's going to be plus x over 6 squared. Then it's going to be plus x squared over 6 cubed. Then it's going to be plus x cubed over 6, 4, plus x4 over 6, 5, plus yada, yada, yada. All right? So I think I'm ready to go. And by that, I'm, I'm going to start to write down, you know, like pairwise matchings over here. And you get, you get minus 1, 7. And I'm going to write this as 1 plus. You don't know, get write it a little differently. I, I realize that it might look a little strange there. So I'm going to write it as, uh, let's see, 1 sixth plus 1 x to the 0 plus 1 over 6 squared minus 1 x to the first power. Let's do the next one. And again, I think there's a pattern to it. So 1 over 6 cubed plus 1 x squared plus 1 over 6, 4 minus 1 x cubed, yada, yada, yada. All right, that goes on forever. All right, I definitely see the pattern now. I'm going to simplify it a little tiny bit, and um, let's, let's keep going. So minus 1 seventh. I know it's tough to simplify. And really, what am I seeing over here? I'm seeing 6 to the 1. And then I'm seeing 1 plus 6 to the first power. And that's going to be x to the 0 now. Let's put the next one down. Plus, that's going to be 6 squared. 1 minus 6 squared. Let's put the next one down. That's going to be 6 cubed. 1 plus 6 cubed x squared. Whoops, I forgot to put the x there. That's x0, by the way. Look like a 6 for a second. This is 1. Let's keep moving. What's the next one going to be? Plus, well, it's going to be 6 to the 4th power, right? And then 1 minus 6 to the 4th power x cubed. Yada, yada, yada. I think I'm ready to write down a sum. And as I do that... I'm going to bring the minus 1 on the inside. Let's read a little bit further on it, all right? I'm going to write this as minus 1 minus 6 to the first power over 7 times 6 to the first power x plus minus 1 plus 6 squared x to the first power 7 times 6 squared plus minus 1 minus 6 cubed 7 times 6 cubed x squared plus, you get the idea. All right, let's keep moving. I can write this as a sum and I'm going to be starting at, um, uh, let's see, I think I want to start at 0. Because the power series, I'm not going to say always oh, should start at 0, but it's not a bad idea to start at 0. 0 to infinity. I'm seeing minus 1. I'm definitely seeing a 7. And I see a 6 and plus 1. All right, let me tell you what I took care of. I took care of this business over here. I took care of this. Minus 1's every single term. Let me write the x down now. What's the x going to be? It looks like x to the n plus 1. I'm sorry. I made a mistake over here. It's x, I'll erase it too because I just noticed it. All right, that's a zero there. So zero, one, two. So it's going to be x to the n. And this minus six is kind of peculiar, isn't it? Because it goes back and forth, so it's alternating. So I'm going to write that down. I'm going to put down, you know, plus, and I'll check it too, by the way, minus six to the um, n plus 
Let me see if that works out, by the way. But by that, what I mean, am I getting what I'm expecting to get? Which is, you know, the first guy would be minus, minus six. If I put zero there, yeah, I get minus six. And then next guy would be, yeah, that would be six squared. Yeah, it looks like it's working out beautifully. Everything's working out beautifully. So someone's gonna say, you know, what are you gonna do about the race conversion? You forget where this thing came from. It came from the geometric. And let's go back over that, all right? So the geometric, I'm kind of looking at it, and I gotta make sure that um, I know their intervals of convergence, by the way. And let's write this down. So I got, I got this guy to worry about. You know what, I, I got these guys. Let me write these, I have these two guys to worry about over here. And what do I know about that? I'll write that down for you. And I know for the first one, this guy over here, the absolute value of x has to be this, which means the x is between one and minus one. And the other guy I'm looking at over there, that, um, that x over six has to be between one and minus one. This is the most restrictive though, right over here, because this one is actually between minus six and six, but this one is the most restrictive one. So I'm gonna put that down. We'll look at the key later. And I know the x is between minus one and one, so the radius is one, and the interval over here is gonna be between minus one and one. All right, let me get the uh, answer key out and look at it. And am I seeing this? I am seeing that. I'm seeing this. I'm seeing this. I'm seeing this. I'm seeing this. I'm seeing the radius and I'm seeing the interval. And we're good to go to the next question. Thank you.